United States data group sent by report on extreme violence pH civilian Manila, Philippines The United States based research group stood by its 2019 report that found damning data that showed increased violent attacks on civilians in the Philippines that exceeded those in countries being torn apart by full-scale war. Sam Jones, communications manager of data analysis group Armed Conflict and Location Project, April, said in an email to inquirer.net that the Philippine National Police, PNP, and Malatinang reaction to the group's 2019 findings was expected as the group's 2018 report on attacks on civilians worldwide, including in the Philippines, got a similar reaction from Philippine authorities. Jones, however, said data don't support a statement made by Longer Salvador Canelo, spokesperson and chief legal counsel of Philippine President Rodrigo Duter, claiming that the Philippines were, indeed, a dangerous country but only for criminals, and the corrupt and not innocent civilians. In its report, April said 450 direct attacks on civilians have claimed the lives of at least 490 people since the start of 2019 in the Philippines. The numbers placed the Philippines fourth on the list of countries deemed dangerous for civilians because of targeted attacks, or attacks aimed directly at those who have been killed and not just unavoidable results of so-called collateral damage. The list showed only three other countries, India, Syria and Yemen having more civilian casualties because of targeted attacks. Syria and Yemen are in the middle of civil war. PNP chief officer Aldi Yald on Monday, July 15, raised doubt on the credibility of the April report saying its findings were belied by other international studies, like an 2019 survey of expatriates where the Philippines was 24th most preferred its staff destination on a list of 33 countries. Vietnam was 10th on that list. 2019 its Stat Explorer survey has 18,059 expats around the world as respondents. A minimum sample of 100 expat respondents and at least 30 expat parents were required for a country to be included in what set were leave tables. Expats were asked to rate a country by quality of life, physical and mental well-being, fulfillment, cultural, welcoming and open community, political stability, ease of settling in, income, disposable income, economic stability, career progression, region potential, work and life balance and its staff children's prospects of making friends, learning and schooling. All the all pointed to the survey as proof there is no truth to the April data. I think that is unfounded, all the all said of the April report. That cannot be covered by data. I don't know how they were able to say that, he said. What's their basis for saying that? The PNP chief added. He said Abels may have based this report on data from local sources who want to bring the government down. It was very unfortunate, he added, that some Filipinos would pass on false information about the Philippines to international groups. If Atlas reports weren't true, the country would then be full of chaos, which is not the case, all the all said. That's why we challenge these people to come here and live here and see for themselves how peaceful the Philippines is, the PNP chief added. International investigators were fast-finding missions, however, have been declared and welcomed by palace officials in a paper explaining its methodology and data collection about killing things. The Philippines, April said it considers the drug-related violence in the country as political violence. This type of violence manifests in a number of ways, the April paper said. It says violence related to drugs in the Philippines was included in counting attacks on civilians and covered the killing of drug suspects by both government security forces and by vigilantes as well as inter-gang related violence. April acknowledged that the veracity of some of the reports was suspect and that's why the group exerted efforts to accurately capture the patterns and trends of violence in the Philippines. Dr. Roundabout Kishi, April Research Director, said in an earlier email to Inquirer.net that information from various sources is aggregated by researchers on a weekly basis, meticulously coded and goes through three rounds of review before data are published. Kishi said the numbers that showed up in April's research and analysis of civilian targeting in the Philippines were damning. Sam Jones, the April Communications Chief, 
that it seems given that all the y'all and the presidential spokes for in, came low, have contradicted each other in reacting to the April report. While all the y'all declared the entire report in truth, came low, so maybe in an attempt to be sarcastic, have admitted that the Philippines were, indeed, a dangerous place but not for innocent civilians but criminals and the corrupt. Jones said April simply found that the Philippines has the fourth highest number of targeted attacks on civilians across the region we cover so far in 2019. The fact that we record a higher number of direct attacks on civilians in the Philippines than in countries experiencing active warfare, like Afghanistan or Somalia, is evidence of extreme levels of targeted anti-civilian violence, Jones said in his email to Inquirer.net. Albiol's protested the emphasis on killings when the Duterte administration's campaign against drugs has also resulted in 240,565 arrests between June 2016 to May 2019. The PMT chief was likely to frown over another report, this time by an office under the United States State Department, which says that nothing is a persistent problem in the Philippines. The 2019 report posted on the website of the Overseas Security Advisory Council, a that said that in 2017 and 2018, all foreign victims of kidnapping in the Philippines have been Asians. No Westerner has fallen victim to kidnapping during those years, the report said. It blames the payment of ransom, common in kidnappings in Mindanao, for the continued occurrence of such crimes. Success in say touring ransoms worth millions of dollars may have further incentivized KFR activities, said the that report using the initials for kidnapping for ransom. In southern Mindanao, KFR injects significant amounts of money into the local economy which could suggest tacit support by the local populace, said the report by the ASAC, an agency under the United States State Department's Bureau of Diplomatic Security. Although foreign, mostly Asian, National cast in charge of it, the report cited the Philippine National Police anti kidnapping Group, AKG, as also reporting that victims of kidnapping between 2017 and 2018 were predominantly Philippine citizens. While blaming kidnappings on what the report said were insurgents, it also said that majority of cases appear to be criminal and not ideological. The perpetrators appear to target local business people and individuals perceived as affluent, the ASAP report said. Aside from the threat of kidnapping, the ASAP report also said the United States State Department has assessed Manila as being a high threat location for crime directed at or affecting United States government interests. Crime remains a significant concern in urban areas throughout the Philippines, the ASAP report said. The United States State Department the report added, has also classified Manila as a high threat location for terrorist activity. For the last several years, the Department of State has warned United States citizens of the risks of terrorist activity in the Philippines, the report said. Terrorist groups and criminal gangs continue to operate throughout the Philippines, it said. Although saying that the threat of kidnapping is persistent in the Philippines, the ASAP report also cited host nation media as saying that the number of kidnapping cases has declined. It cited the AKG as listing 43 cases of kidnappings in 2017 with mostly Filipinos as victims and 14 of the cases happening in Mindanao. The Philippine government has acknowledged more than 6,000 deaths in Duterte's brutal campaign against narcotics which he has repeatedly blamed for a host of other crimes like rape, killings and robbery. Slash AC, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.